Time to get the vlog started. The BTS vlog started. Let's get this countdown started. Let's get the countdown started. <laughs> Let's get the countdown timer started. Uh, it, it's been a long day. So it's about uh, 10 o'clock at night, 10:30. Between 10 o'clock and 10:30, uh, and we're beginning the uh, BTS vlog for the weekend. This is the weekend uh, BTS vlog that will cover from November 18th to. November 11th, so it's a multi-day vlog uh, as we go with the weekend, as we always do things. Uh, rather than doing a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday vlog, it's one long vlog. Uh, I got a lot of work done. Uh, I'm watching, well, I've been watching a cartoon now for uh, my IPTV. got a whole new series of cartoons to watch. There's two cool sources I've got for cartoons. Uh, I was able to set up the uh, channel for the insta to do the work on the on the um, ghost hunting. Uh, it's going to be on the AP Space TV. That's the new channel that I've got now. It's not really new. I've sort of re redid the channel. I'm redoing some of the channels to fit more in with some of the research because you, you can't do all the research and put all the notes together on one channel. It has to be spread out. Uh, according to subject and top, you know, it has to be organized properly amongst a different a variety of different, uh, we call them notebooks. I mean, this is particularly the uh, Insta vlogs are actually uh, a, a multiple variety of vlogs, sort of counting, uh, sort of uh, taking account of the research that's going on here. Uh, it needs to be organized, it needs to be sort of uh, categorized so that you can keep things in proper order. And so that's been done and I should be either, uh, I'll probably going to leave it till tomorrow, I'll probably end up filming uh, a nest of vlogs for tomorrow along with a, uh, doing the editing for Beauty and the Geek and those two should be up over the weekend as well. So. We'll see how that ends up working out. Uh, I've also tried out some new stuff in terms of uh, improving the lighting here. Uh, I don't know how things are going to work out. I'll see you on Monday. To sort of Monday will sort of tell, will, will let me know uh, if I've got an improved lighting situation here. But uh, if that's not the case, I have some more options and. I'll be working on these options as much as I, like, as, as, a, as I can. I don't have a lot of money to put into equipment. Most of my stuff is either refurbished or hacked. So that's the way that's done. This is this lighting option right now that I have is a hack version. There's a, there's a third option that, that's also a hack that should fill in the areas uh, with light as it's needed. So. Uh, that's it for now. Well, not necessarily it. Uh, what was I going to say? I talk about. Oh yeah, both the uh, what you see, uh, the documentaries you see on TV. There is a new, and has been for a while. There's a new sort of direction going in television where reality shows are not necessarily real, but rather they're a created reality or a dramatic reality. Uh, created so that it, it entertains people. And this is a whole new field, an area called infotainment, edutainment, and docudrama, where some of the stuff you see is true and some of the stuff you see is created. What's going to happen on this channel, Cyborg Alpha TV, and the network that I'm developing around it? All the stuff on here is going to be real. There's not going to be, uh, in terms of the documentary, there's not going to be any. Uh, infotainment, edutainment, or docudrama here. 
it's all going to be full on documentary, full on research. Uh, and if you're into that type of stuff, great, that's cool, because you, you, you're not going to have to sort of watch a, a show and wondering if uh, what you're seeing is real or not real. So, uh, and that's kind of, kind of what I did today, I was sort of looking at these different uh, ghost shows and sort of looking at them and wondering, you know, because what happens is when you watch these ghost shows, it's either they're not talking, they're just simply talking about stories. That's one show I watched from, from England, which was pretty interesting. It showed you a lot of different graveyards. And so just the scenery itself was interesting. But there was no actual ghosts there. And no evidence of ghosts, no scary noises or anything like that. And, but the other stuff that I've seen in terms of uh, ghost hunters on TV as well, that, that, that are on uh, IPTV, that it's sort of linked across, that have been leaked across the internet on YouTube and wherever, uh, they're all kind of fake. They're all kind of, you're sort of wondering, well, how do these people put these shows together and expect people to believe what's actually going on is going on? Because more often than not, it's up to the person's interpretation as to what's going on, and they don't curb their enthusiasm. <laughs> Sorry for that pun there, the television pun. And it's more their enthusiasm, their assertion that something is going on rather than actually something going on itself. And of course, the, one of the most annoying things is that when you're trying to hear what's going on, and a lot of times you're trying to use your your audio senses, your your acoustic, your your ears, to find out acoustically what's going on, your your your, your auditory senses, you can't do that because the background music is interfering with it. You know, so what if you get scary music music playing in the background? If you're supposed to be doing this investigation for ghosts and you want to see this is actually something that's real, don't cover it up with your fake stuff. But that's the way infotainment is. That's the way edutainment is. That's the way docudramas are. They, they fill in a lot of the missing re holes in research with their own entertainment bits. And that's not, for me, it sort of puts a little damper on things in terms of where you want to go uh, with, with all this research because you find a lot of stuff like that. You can find a lot of sort of frauds Anyways, uh, I'm going to leave this for the Insta Vlogs, and we'll sort of talk about this more in, on the Insta Vlogs. And, yeah, the weekend uh, BTS Vlog is now upon us. I will see you in a couple hours for the next segment. Yeah, it's just about 7 o'clock in the morning on Sunday, November. I think it's going to be the 8th. I can't tell right now. And yes, it was a pretty productive day. I was able to get um, not only uh, the Beauty and the Geek episode to the editing bay, but uh, also uh, I completely revamped uh, Insta Vlogs to the editing bay as well. So look forward to both of those on Monday. But now at 7 o'clock in the morning, and it's time to get ready to go to church. All right, I'll see you in a bit. A little bit of an explanation is in order. Uh, it's Tuesday, um, November, I think 12th. Yeah, 12th. It's 14 hours and 52 minutes into the day of uh, Tuesday, November 12th. Uh, what's been going on is, if you have noticed the uh, lack of uploading, my <coughs> my sleep deprivation caught up with me, finally, and I've been out for two days. I've been literally in bed for two days, so that's the explanation. Uh, right now I'm watching Raw Caitlin, this is what I do in between my... Uh, uh, sleep periods uh, where I have a couple Are you them? Uh, I have about 20 minutes worth of wakefulness I have something to eat YouTubers. something to drink fluids are important and what's this? Caitlin has no Halloween thing 
And at this point in time, carbohydrates are important too because uh, your body's burning through a ton of carbohydrates. Um, well, not Halloweenified. Yeah, everything should get back to normal uh, tomorrow. And there should be an upload tomorrow. I'm going to make some <coughs> format changes to BTS vlogs. Uh, I've been sort of watching my own, BTS, my own BTS vlogs. And I think there's sort of a need to make them more entertaining a little bit. And so I'm going to try that. I'm going to try, instead of just myself talking all the time, uh, I'm going to try to uh, show some cleaning, show some, um, well, this here, this is sort of unscripted while I'm watching uh, Raw Caitlin. I'm watching while well, I'm doing my YouTube stroll, so you can see that. Uh, in other words, I'm going to try a variety of different things to sort of add things into the BTS vlog. Uh, so that they're not as dry. But that's because a large chunk of the research right now is moving off into Insta vlogs, and as that occurs, uh, we need some more uh, material in the BTS vlogs. As that happens sometimes, as things change up, as things develop, uh, things do change, and as long as they change for the better, that's 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 uh, a good thing. Anyways, <clears throat> I'm gonna finish up this video. Get Cyborg Alpha saying hello. And once the, this video is finished, I'm going back to bed. Alright. See you tomorrow. It's now time for another segment of the BTS vlog. When I'm tired and I'm heavily sleep deprived, I kind of mix my days up and I also see the wrong thing sometimes. And uh, I said bye in the last segment meaning that I was going to come back the next day, but that's not necessarily the case. It just meant that I was going to bed at the time because I've, I basically, when you when you, when you get sleep deprived, uh, there is this wall, a sleep wall that you hit at some point in time that literally knocks you out. And I've been out now for about two days. And, um, excuse me. It does take a toll on you, and it does take a toll on your sense of time because just because you're going to bed doesn't necessarily mean, and when doesn't necessarily mean when you get up it's going to be the next day. It could be just a couple of hours later because you get hungry. That's what's going on now. I'm going, going to my parents for dinner because I'm hungry. Uh, and uh, I was also doing when I'm up at this particular point in time. I do the uh, YouTube stroll. Uh, I'm just sort of sitting here at my research desk. I, I do everything at my research desk, basically. So I eat a, a drink here. If I'm out of bed, I'm here. Uh, just sort of relaxing, even though I'm not sleeping. Oh. And uh, I went through uh, the YouTube stroll, and I found out that one of the YouTubers that, that I'm subscribed to, and her name is Anna Soda Pop. That's her channel name. And she has uh, Motivational Mondays, the uh, thoughts of our lives that the video is watching. And we kind of struck up a conversation about the power of positive thinking. Now, the thing is, is that a lot of times when you, <coughs> you hear gurus and motivational speakers talk about the power of positive thinking, you can't maintain that hype for a long time. It, it, there's no way to do it. Most success comes from perseverance. That means you're going to have to struggle through failure. And that means and it's really, failure is not fun. It's not fun to fail. But if you persevere through that failure and, 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 the, and the continuing failures that, failures that will come depending on the level of risk that you want to achieve. I know the riskier that, that your, your goal is, you know, the, the harder it is to reach that goal in terms of the number of people who actually reach it then you know it's it's gonna be difficult like mine feel less than less than one percent people less than one percent succeed and, and because i have my own research institute very few research institutes succeed so i have an option to do things i want to do i've been living my dream now for a long time and the biggest thing is is perseverance if you fail you've got to learn how to deal with failure and, and it's not it's not gonna be fun there are gonna be days where we're tired or not, uh, things are going horribly wrong, and you're just going to want to spend the entire day in bed. 
And sometimes it actually happens. Some days, some days you just, it's bad enough that you, that's all you do do is, is, is spend the entire day in bed because you just don't want to get up and face what's there. Uh, and that, that you know, is it. It, it's something that, that does happen. And it has to be dealt with. Uh, it's, this is something that, that you, you go through uh, when you're a, a, a term, trying to get to your dreams. But I think it's the other thing that I sort of think about when people talk about their dreams, and this is something that comes basically in hindsight, is everyone's talking about the dream jobs or getting in the dream college. Well, let's consider this. I've seen people who have got their dream jobs, gone to the dream, uh, dream college, and so on and so forth. What happens when that dream is over, when you've achieved that dream? And that is what happens. If you have a dream job or a dream college, that dream at some point in time is going to be over. And then you have to ask yourself, what's next? And the thing is, I see people who, who live by themselves, who, who, um, who have no family. They spent most of their time working on their dream. And at the end of their dream, when they got too old or weren't wanted or whatever, it was, thank you for your time and have a good nice life. In other words, uh, they were no longer needed and uh, if their dream went on without them. And they're now sitting alone, by themselves, completely depressed. And these aren't these aren't idiots. These aren't people who uh, uh, were morons. These are people who were very ambitious. They, they, they worked very hard at what they were what they were doing. But at the end of the day, that dream was finite. It ended. And when that dream was ended, because they didn't have family, because they didn't focus on the relationships in their lives, and this was with friends or whatever, uh, and their main focus was their dream. They were so focused on it. They were so motivated on this thing. And they said, oh, they only had friends. This is it. They only, this, gurus will tell you this. Only have friends who will benefit you. You know, if someone's negative and dragging you down, get rid of them. Well, that's it, well, that's a recipe for a very lonely life afterwards. And if that's what you want, if you want your dream and you want a lonely life afterwards, then go for it. But if you want a happy life all the way throughout, the key is actually not necessarily being being ambitious. It's being happy with what you already have. And understanding that anything you get after that, whatever you, what you already have, it's a bonus. And if you can get to that point, then you're going to be happy. Well, I hope this kind of helps. It kind of puts things in perspective. Because I know a lot of people aren't saying this. I'm, most people don't say slow down, slow down, take a look at life and appreciate what you have. Most people saying run, 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 run. Get what you, get what you can while you can get it. In other words, they're talking about greed. Anyways, however you choose to do this, however, choose, however you choose to deal with things, uh, you have options. All right, take it easy. I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, well, I know I should be in bed by now. I got back about, oh, just about a half hour ago from my parents' place from having dinner. But there was a little bit of a problem. When you eat, and this is basically has to do with organic chemistry, How your food digests depends on the ratio of solids to liquids. The more, the better the ratio you have to solids and liquids, in other words, if you have enough liquids in your system, your food will digest better, but more importantly, the uptake of nutrients will, will, will improve as well. So, uh, I got back, uh, sat up for a bit to make sure that, uh, Everything's okay because what happens if you eat and go right to sleep and you lie on your back, almost guaranteed that somewhere in the middle of the night you will wake up with a racing heart and uh, throwing up. Uh, vomiting, uh, uh, nausea is in many ways a function of your heart rate and uh, it's a partially an acid reaction to uh, what's going on in your stomach. And when you're lying down, you're more susceptible to, uh, to that throwing up, particularly if uh, there is an improper mix of solids to liquids. So I got back, I realized that was the case, I didn't have enough liquids in my system, and I just had 
uh, some juice over a period of 10-15 minutes, maybe more. Did some, uh, did a little bit of a stroll on YouTube, and in about 10 minutes, I'll be going back to bed. Things will be more or less clear for me to go back to bed, and I will continue on with my uh, recovery from uh, sleep deprivation. So that's what's going on now. We're in the middle of recovery from sleep deprivation. I'll only be commenting uh, if I'm able to when I get up during these periods when I come back for hydration. Hydration, again, to set hydration uh, when your body is in repair with this disease, illness, uh, physical injury, or whatever. Hydration is extremely important for the body. Anyways, that's it for now. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, it's just about 2 o'clock in the morning. And I just finished uh, another, hydration, hy another hydration session. Give me a Had some... <coughs> had some fluids. And now, about a half hour later, now I'm ready to go back to bed. Anyways... I will see you guys <coughs> next time. That you will see when I'm up. If you want to follow along, uh, whatever I'm doing, uh, uh, YouTube stroll. That's kind of what I'm doing while I'm having doing doing, doing the hydration. Uh, I think the next step will be in addition to hydration to have something to eat, uh, and then move along from there. All right, take it easy. Coming to the end of another BTS vlog, uh, this is going to be the last segment for this vlog. That's because uh, in a few minutes when I go out and do some food shopping, I'm going to be uh, uh, that's what I'm doing some food shopping. Even though I'm in, in the, the uh, crash mode and if dealing with my sleep deprivation, I still have to go out and get food. I'm feeling well enough to do that, so uh, I'll be back in about two hours, so I'll begin the BTS vlog. In there, uh, I have some stuff in the editing bay that should be going up today as well. So, uh, start looking for more content today. Uh, and uh, I think things will be somewhat okay. I think, you know, it's going to be a little bit rough walking, but that's kind of the way things go. Anyways, that's it. I will see you in a few minutes uh, as I walk out the door and start the, the uh, BTS vlog for... Uh, Wednesday, November 13th, I think, yeah, yeah, Wednesday, November 13th, that's the, the we'll start the vlog for, alrighty, <coughs> see you in a few minutes. Democratic Earth. Earth.